Now, today is going to be very exciting because we are going to compete, or should I say not compete, we are going to compare two of the projectors. One, the one that is on the left is actually AVO LDD 2500. The one that is actually on the right is actually for movie cinema C3. There's no one have done this comparison before. Now, take note on something. The one that is actually on the left, which I mentioned that is actually on AWOL, you'll notice that it is actually a little purplish on the screen. Versus the one that is actually on the right is um, more towards our eyes color. Now, the reason being that the one that is actually on the left is using three laser. So that's why when being taken on video, you will see some purplish effect. But in real life, as in when we see with our eyes, you will not have this problem at all. So it speaks about the projector. It's a true three laser RGB projector. Now, the one that is actually on the right is not the three laser. It's the newest model that is actually for, for, for movie. In what is the, the difference between the two is that the one on the left A wall is actually bigger in terms of the physical size, whereas the one that is on the right is smaller and compact size. In terms of throw distance, I will show you later that both of them are similar. So let's do a video playback on both of them, all right, and see the contrast. Both of them is actually playing on the same screen. Same type of fabric screen, which is actually using Omni screen, the premium material using CDSP. Now I'll put a little pause that is actually over here, all right, on the video. Now, if you notice, this is actually a very, very good comparison. Now, the one that is actually on the right, the green color is actually a more saturated green whereby the one that is actually on the left is actually a much more lifelike green. When it comes to real peppermint leaf, there is actually a sense of yellowish on real peppermint leaf versus um, that is totally in green that is actually on for movie. So in terms of the real life color, right, the one that is actually on the left, which is AWOL LTV 2005, is actually more towards a real life color versus the for movie. Right, so that's point number one. So let's continue to play some video. Okay, so, so much so on this video. Now, going back into all this video, the next one we actually able should test is actually on the brightness. Now, the best to actually test on the brightness is actually on a white color screen. Okay, now both of them are white in color right now. So, each of them, I already have the video that speaks about the real lumens on its own. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to put a lux meter and measure just one point which is right in the middle point of the projector right in the middle of this 100 inch screen and to see what is the lux level on each of them and we just measure which of them is actually bright if you want to actually know more of each of the brightness in terms of their nc lumens on our independent test please refer as to you can see that we have done the measurement between the two projector now what we have done is actually we only take one middle center spot of each of them to measure the lux. Now, if you want a much more comprehensive measurement or lumens test measurement for individual one of the projector, please watch another of our detailed video for each of the projector review. Now, so what is the result for LTV 2005? The middle spot measurement is 735 lux. While for, for movie C3, 
is only yielding at 560. So the overall winner for this portion on white lumen comparison, AWOL LTV 2005 is the winner. Now we are going to do the measurement of each of the color, which is red, green, and blue. Now, so for this current red screen right now, the measurement on LTV 2005 is 80, whereas for full movie is 49. For this green color screen, all right, AWOL LTV 2005 is 202, whereas the other one is 229. Last but not least, the blue one for AWOL is 161 versus for movie C3 is 140. So by doing three of them, taking the average among three of them for each of the projector, AWOL is yielding at 147.6, whereas for movie C3 is 139.3. And the overall winner for color lumen comparison between the two of the projector is AWOL 2500. Now we are going to do a sound test right now. So now let's start with the one that is actually on the right, which is for movie C3. Now, to really experience the sound, I may encourage you to actually put on your Bluetooth earpiece and you'll be able to actually hear the sound effect much better. Now, let's move on to the one that is actually on the left, which is AWOL 2005 on its speaker sound quality. So we have already played the both of the music, or should I say the sound quality, on the 30 seconds manner for each of them. Now, which one is actually better? I would like to actually hear from you with all the comments below, right? Do now I'm going to play you two videos, right, on sceneries and see which one you feel that is actually the best. I repeat, the one that is actually on the left is actually having three laser, which is you're seeing some perforation reflect that is actually from the video that is actually being taken but in real life watching with the naked eyes it doesn't have this preparation effect but this shows that it's a true three laser projector the one that is actually on the right is not a three laser projector so it's actually using a color wheel In my opinion, the one that is actually on the left is producing a better true life color images with our naked eyes. Okay, so now let's take a look. Now with this laser measuring tool, we're going to measure the distance right, of this A wall. So it's doing at about 0 0.3, which is about 30, 31 cm from the wall. If we are going to measure right at this range, which is at the edge of the projector to the wall, we are actually getting about 0 0.658, right, which is about 55, 50, sorry, 65, 66 cm from the wall for a 100 inch screen. So now if you are going for this projector which is actually for for movie C3 from a wall dealing about 100 inch we are getting about 0 0.28 which is 28 cm from the wall now if we measure to the edge of the projector to the wall right so what is the distance that we need 
we need about 0.529 meter which is about 59 cm from the wall so in terms of distance wise overall though the a wall is actually bigger in size but there is no much difference for another few cm more now let's compare the interface on the left we have the a wall right as mentioned a wall comes with the free amazon fire stick and we can actually optionally able to actually set the Buddha port on this specific HDMI port. So in this instance, the HDMI, the, the Amazon Fire Stick is actually being connected to the first HDMI port. Now look at it. When it boot up, it can straight away boot up into here. And every one of us knows that Amazon Fire Sticks is actually very complete, very versatile. It is able to actually stream Netflix Prime Video, Disney Plus, and so on and so forth in 4K because they are certified. Now, on the right, we actually have this for movie. For movie interface, if you see our detailed video for for movie, is able to actually set the language to English. However, it is still not very user friendly in terms of languages in terms of English for the reason that the main interface like all these at the background is actually still in Chinese okay so within the menu on its own for example if we actually want to go into like um, things like feedback okay let's say we click feedback over here again it is in Chinese so having said that Interface is actually very important in terms of user friendliness. If you are fluent in Chinese, this one will not be an issue for you, as in the for movie. But if you prefer an English interface, I will suggest you go for A wall. And on top of that, being the Chinese interface, it doesn't come with the Google Play Store, whereas the one that is actually on the left, you are able to actually connect to the Play Store over in, in uh, Amazon and there's a whole lot of app that is actually being developed for Amazon and you can also sideload Android APK within the Amazon platform. All these units are pretty quiet unit, right? So now we are testing with a decibel meter and when there is no sound, as in I'm not talking, we are yelling about as low as 41.7 decibel from one meter away from the phone movie. So in terms of sound measurement, in terms of decibel for the A wall, measuring at one meter away, same thing lowest we're getting about 41.7. So in terms of sound quality, both of them are actually pretty good. But in terms of heat, right, the, I feel that there are more heat that is actually being produced from for movie versus the A wall. Unfortunately, I do not have the temperature sensor with me. So let's sum it up. On a summary between the two of the projectors that we are comparing today, now let's take a look at the pro and cons, right? Now, the pros of A wall. Is actually having a true tree laser color, brighter with higher NC lumens. It is certified with Nef for Netflix that you are able to actually stream 4K with the included Amazon Fire Stick. It has English interface, comprehensive settings including fine tunings of the red, green, and blue of each of the individual color. You can set direct specific HDMI boot up, meaning to say when the set is actually being put up, it goes direct to the preferred HDMI port, which includes like you can actually specific goes to directly the Amazon Fire Stick. Next, it comes with ER and naturally supports Dolby Atmos. Now, let's take a look at some of the pros of a movie C3. It is more compact in size. Suitable for those who actually prefer a smaller size projector. More competitive in terms of pricing, but not really too much. It's just like one or two hundred dollars difference. 
right? And it comes with eArc as well, which naturally supports Dolby Atmos. But what about the cons? Now, let's take a look at the cons of the AWOL 2005 first. In fact, I can only pinpoint that AWOL is having one cons, which is bigger inform factor. For the cons of a movie C3, now, it comes with a Chinese interface. No Google Play Store is not certified for Netflix, Disney Plus, no Prime. And you cannot set direct settings to a specific HDMI upon boot up. In fact, when after you boot up, you need to actually go into other Android devices, like you, if you plug in a TV stick or whatsoever, you still need to go through the long menu. Then you'll be able to actually access to the HDMI port after several clicks. So these are the two comparisons on a summary for both of them. So in conclusion, AWOL LTV 2005 actually comes with a Amazon Fire Stick. So with this Amazon Fire Stick, what happens is that you're able to actually even stream Netflix content and it's actually certified you're able to stream them in 4K, you're able to stream Disney Plus as well as Prime Video all in 4K. And this is actually being included in the entire package. Whereas for movie, whereas for, for movie, it actually comes with very Chinese menu interface, which is actually meant for the local Chinese market. So um, if you see our the other video that's actually done, you actually have a Chinese interface menu. So if you actually prefer an English interface, I would suggest you to get an additional Android devices be a TV stick or a TV box. And the best is to get a certified copy. So in terms of costing between the two of them, they are similar. Or should I say the for movie C3 is slightly cheaper in by a few hundred dollars. Whereas the for, for whereas the other version, which is a wall LTV 2005 is a little bit more expensive by a few hundred. But having said that, this is my conclusion. It takes us a lot of time, money and effort to produce all these videos. So, appreciate if you can actually subscribe, like, and share this video with your loved ones. Now, to motivate us to do more of these videos, we need your support. Thank you.